What's going on people, Jason here, and this is part two to my videos on trying Timu tech products. They hit me up and gave me a budget and said I could pick whatever I wanted. I did that, got some cheap tech products off this site, and now we're here to talk about them today. Similar to my last video, I will once again say I unfortunately lost the mic's audio to my original unboxing of all these products, and so I obviously can't do my original plan, which was to intertwine that with my experience after several weeks testing and using the products, but what we're doing today will be just as good. I'll be doing this kind of in a vlog format with a wider lens and the shotgun mic on my camera, so hopefully audio is good enough. But I'll just be changing up the location and talking to you casually about these products. Timu did sponsor this video, but they didn't tell me to say anything in particular. And these are my honest thoughts, again, on the products I picked out myself. Most of them did turn out to be pretty good value for money, really just giving you that baseline functionality and then some at a very entry level price point. Real quick before moving on, Timu wanted me to share their limited time offer of up to $100 worth of coupons. And to get that, you just need to head to the link in the description or you can search sale 4726 from within the app. You can see me doing that on screen now. And what's cool is the code also brings up all the products I talk about in the video. Click the link or download the app to grab those coupons in order to slash the already very low prices. So the first two products on the list come in these black boxes right here. And I will say they're not the most exciting items on the list, so definitely watch further into the video for cooler stuff like these smart bulbs right here that turn out to be very good for the price they sit at. Uh, but what we're actually starting with are these rose gold and silver LED watch slash bracelets. And I'll pull the rose gold one out of its box real quick, show you all what we got going on. Uh, you got just like a pretty simple black glossy screen on the front with two buttons underneath that you press it they come to life and show you the current time with the pretty cool animation there and they sit on like a mesh uh, actual metal band that's got a magnetic clasp on it really impressed with the build on these guys uh, it's I believe how some of the Apple watch bands work and you slide it on your hand like so pull this clasp through the loop there and it magnetically sticks to the other side and you got yourself a little fashion accessory that also tells the time when you tap the button it looks pretty cool while you're doing so and if you're wondering how to set the time on here which is of course a valid concern considering there's one button on here you're going to want to hold that down to enter the set date and time mode and then you press the button to cycle through whatever the thing is it could be the date the month the hour and you long press to lock that in and cycle through the other things you can set and you cycle back to having set everything at the end and hopefully if you put it in correctly you got the watch tuned to your local time zone as far as the magnetic clasp goes i will say sometimes it'll struggle to stay secure and on your wrist definitely if you're running or weight training really being at the gym at all can't guarantee this guy is going to stay in one place but also can't say it's better or worse than other bracelets or watches that use the same clasp mechanism but yeah there is this guy in silver Next, we have this Apple Pencil clone, which surprisingly is recognized and works exactly like an Apple Pencil on an iPad. I originally expected this to be like a capacitive stylus like there were back in the day, where it just emulates your finger, doesn't use power or anything like that, but it just mimics the properties of living things so it can work with a touchscreen, as opposed to other solid objects, which obviously don't work. But this guy included a charging cable and it's got LEDs. It's got a taper or a flat edge on one of its sides like the second gen Apple Pencil, but regardless, it charges. And so I go to my iPad's Bluetooth settings. This is after charging it fully and turning it on, and five minutes later, I'm unable to find anything. The instructions don't say anything about putting it into a pairing mode, and I really just can't figure out how to get this thing to connect to my iPad. That is, until I pop open OneNote and start writing with it and realize it's connected in some way and that it's working just like my regular Apple Pencil and scribbling down, I'm able to change colors. Uh, it recognizes just like it would an Apple Pencil where you get the little icon in the corner of the screen and you've got tools for using the pencil. This pops up in certain apps like the Apple Notes app. And I'm realizing swiping up with the pencil from the bottom of the screen, it's not reacting like I thought it was a finger or just a capacitive stylus. So some way, shape or form, this thing is able to do the functions of a regular Apple Pencil but without Bluetooth. And up until this point, I've been unable to find any single thing this fake Apple Pencil does worse than my real one, including latency, palm rejection, even battery life, which is made even better by the fact this doesn't charge in a stupid way with plugging the pencil into the side of the iPad. It's got a USB-C port on the beveled flat side of the pencil. 
But yeah, this is a much, much better value option for adding writing capabilities to your iPad. And I guess I can't vouch for the compatibility with newer iPads or that this has the potential functionalities of the second gen Apple Pencil. But what I can say is with my 2019 iPad Air 3, this basically does everything my Apple Pencil does. Let's pop open OneNote, got the black pencil selected. We can scribble all over like the regular Apple Pencil would. I can put my palm on here, it's not gonna pick that up. I can set my palm on here and still continue to write. Got some purple, blue, just covering the, covering the sheet right now, just to show you that this fake Apple Pencil does everything my real one does. Not too mad at all, not too mad at all about how this guy turned out. Cool, what we're talking about next are these three RGB smart bulbs that are actually the three bulbs in the sockets of the lamp behind me. Turn all lights red. Changing 13 lights to red. Sorry, it looks like the Cap Jackson isn't available right now. I've long been an advocate of cheaper alternatives to Philips Hue and LifeX, like the Wixam bulbs I did an update video on this time last summer. But these are actually the cheapest smart bulbs I've ever come across on the internet, and surprisingly or not, they perform all the functions you'd want out of app-controlled LED lights. Starting with the first impressions, setup with these guys was actually pretty seamless. It was just a matter of popping one of the bulbs in, making sure it lit up and was in pairing mode, and then hopping into the app, which was easy to download from the QR code on here, and then connect into the bulb like so, punching in the password to your Wi-Fi network, and really just getting instant access to all the controls promised on the box, like changing the brightness, the color, the scenes, modes and routines and of course at this price point the app's not going to be super streamlined or nice to look at but this one did do everything it was supposed to and one of the perks of these guys is like they say on the box they integrate with both google and alexa and that really allows you to circumnavigate having to use the app and you can just say stuff like turn all lights burgundy and you'll be able to get changing 13 lights to burgundy and assuming that you do already use one of these platforms like I do, you'll be able to just use that instead of the app these guys come with and enjoy the lights to your heart's content. Another thing I was thinking about while forming my first impressions with these lights was longevity, because a lot of people commented on my very first, like, initial off-brand smart bulb review back in 2020 saying like, what if these break within months or even like a year down the line, which still wouldn't be great considering LEDs are supposed to last a while. So longevity is definitely something to take into consideration, whether it's regular LED bulbs or smart bulbs. So with these guys, I can actually say I've had them on the majority of the day for basically every day in the last two months, which doesn't speak well of my usage of electricity or conservation, but it does say that these guys haven't failed on me in a fairly decent amount of testing. I guess we'll round out this section talking about these smart bulbs by just messing around with them a little bit. Top lamp, blue. Switch to green. You can see there's very little latency, very fast, even though I'm not even connected to Wi-Fi, I'm doing this over uh, data. Jump into the bottom lamp, a little turquoise, teal action going, purple, green. Got the, the little rainbow here. And let's round things out, getting some cool white going. Then warm. All right, so next we got these four astronaut dudes accent lights to throw in the corners of your room and add a splash of color and light. And I got these in two varieties. This is rising sun, this is setting sun. And I'm gonna just go ahead and pop a few of these open and show you all the effect you get with these guys, which is really all there is to explaining what they actually do. Another box. Um, I've already unboxed one of these and had it sitting in the corner of my room, adding a little color for a little while. Uh, this one's actually brand new and untouched and you can see it's just a cable the astronaut man himself and the USB port guess we'll have to be okay with that the string lights for a sec and boom see that there it is y'all this is the got a little Got a little retina burn there. That's the rising sun. Keep that in mind, that's rising sun. And this is setting sun. But yeah, that's really all there is to these guys. They're small plastic astronauts for putting a little color and 
ambiance to your room. They have no extra functionality beyond that. No on and off switch, brightness controls, or smart app connectivity. Uh, they just sit there and add like a cool diffused uh, projection effect in whatever portion of your room you decide to go with. This one again, being the rising sun, or no, this is the setting sun, goes from like a blue to an orange top to bottom, and it's not exactly just a light, it's got like a projection circle to it, if that makes sense, and I'll show you in a sec. And then this one is the rising sun, and it, yeah, this one's more so one color, kind of just a solid like yellow and orange peachy kind of glow. I'll round out this section with these astronaut guys by shutting off the softbox and just aiming them at a wall and showing you the effect. There's rising sun. And here's setting sun. All right, let's get into some more products, starting with this selfie stick tripod right here that's actually gonna allow me to add another angle to this room shots using my phone because this guy's set up to be able to allow you to take stable photos or videos with your phone in a pretty compact monopod format. Um, these three legs right here fold out and then the top part comes up and you got yourself a stable setup for photos or videos or you know, filming footage, taking TikToks um, or self-timer photos, whatever the case may be. All right, so now we can pop the plastic base of this tripod open. Three plastic pieces that come apart and these do like really want to pinch you if you put them back together, so be careful with that. But they extend out and then this, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit real quick. This extends out via like 10 individual metal tubes into whatever length you want, so that's max extended. That's max extended. And here's a tripod in all its glory. Basically at my height, my eye level, a little bit lower. Um, we pull the phone holder up. These two pieces snap out right here. And the phone goes in. Um, probably have it this way. And yeah, this part's spring loaded. Pop the phone in just like that. And the phone is in right now. I'm actually looking at myself on the phone through like remote image app uh, connected to my camera. But you can see, got a stable setup with three legs at the bottom and then this guy that comes up to record or take photos to your heart's content. And even for people like me who obviously already has a camera and a tripod that that's sitting on, I'm still gonna find this useful because I've been looking to get back into vlogs and day in the life stuff. And so this will let me take most of the functionality of my full-fledged camera and tripod setup and put it into a compact form factor, like literally a third the size of that tripod folded up, plus my phone, which I already have on me anyway. And I feel like I'll get less stares or looks in public using this, even though there's definitely still an aspect of like, what are you doing filming yourself in public? Um, I feel like this is more inconspicuous than any actual camera ever could. And then we also got a trick. Uh, this guy's got a trick up his sleeve on the one of the legs here. It's got this little remote and go to your Bluetooth settings. Yeah, you hold down the button, turn it on. It's already connected because I've been connected to it before. And if you just take a look from the, uh, let me make sure you can see that. All right, let's jump into the camera and see that? Snapping photos with a little pill-shaped insert that pops into one of the legs. And as would probably be more likely of a scenario, I can hop over here and jump in front of the camera, take a picture real quick. Boom. <laughs> and I'll just show you all the video real quick. As you can see, this is a very easy way to get video going and remotely at that using gear you already have on a very compact and inexpensive piece of gear. And we can stop it remotely using this guy. Next are these LED intelligent lights, also known as motion activated light sticks. They do what you'd expect, stick them under your kitchen cabinets, put them in drawers, and when they come across motion or motion comes across them, they light up in a cool white color. These are the white, that's what they call it, light, as opposed to the warm one, which these also come in. Got these in the more practical option, of course. And let's just pop 
one of these boys out of the box and show you what these guys have going for them. So first things first, I feel like the main selling point of these specifically is that they are rechargeable. Uh, this is the charging cable right here. It is micro USB, which isn't optimal, but so be it. Um, and so you'll be charging these, I don't know, once a month, every couple weeks, as opposed to making a double A or triple A run, which is never convenient. And so that's good to see here. This, of course, plugs right into the end. Um, like so, and you charge these to get some juice into these guys and keep illuminating whatever area you put these into. And when they're charged, they light up when they come into contact with motion. This button right here is a multi-function key type deal. Press it once and the light turns on. Press it again and you're in sensing mode uh, and the light will go off and on according to whether there's motion. And then one more time and the light goes off. And of course the sensing mode is really the, the selling point or the main feature of these lights. And yeah, beyond that, you got two, not one, but two um, little command squares right here that are magnetic. They magnetize to the little magnetic icons you got on the back. There's really not much else to these guys. They're motion activated light sticks that bring a, a good amount of light in a good color temperature to otherwise dark or hard to illuminate spots. They got the magnetic squares that stick to the back included. That's nice, rechargeable, uh, also nice. And I'll round out this section by showing off the sensing mode, uh, the motion activated functionality, but I will have to turn off the lights for that to work effectively. Sensors on the top of the light, so it shouldn't be able to see me over here. And boom. Easy money. That's it for the motion activated light sticks. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe down below for more quality tech content, and I'll see you in the next video.